Hey, this is Travis, and I'm back in the Air Power Airwave Studios with Mark Patterson of Fanic America and Dusty Coble of Air Power. So uh, I'm going to pitch a question to you really quick here because we we hear about different types of or different segments of robotics, and within Fanic we have two types. We have cobots. Mm-hmm versus industrial robots you take it and run with it what's the difference in the two so there's there's a lot of differences between the two i'll I'll kind of break it down and make it really simple um so cobots were designed to be safe to work next to humans okay um i'm always going to put that asterisk there that you got to do a safety risk assessment you need to understand your applications you can't just grab a cobot, put a knife on the end of it, and let it do something. That's not safe, right? Cohabitive <laughs> robots. <laughs> yeah. Um, Share the same space. Yeah. So, so, But the whole idea behind cobots is they're supposed to be easy to program, easy to deploy, uh, easy for literally anyone to figure out how to do an application, right? Okay. I'm not in a controls engineer like Dusty. I don't go and take the training classes. <laughs> But I can pull a cobot out of my truck, plop it on somebody's table, and program something and show them how their application could work, right? They're easy. That's the okay. whole point of cobots. Um, that's what FANUC offers. Um, the industrial robots side, um, they're still easy to some extent, right? I'm never going to say something's hard. It just depends on your technical ability. Um, but industrial robots were made for speed, payload, um, you know, repeatability they're made for production right so if i've got something that i'm going to do day in and day out and i'm going to do it really fast and i'm going to do it for 35 years i want an industrial robot for that right i want to set it and forget it i want this thing to just run Um, so that's really the big difference is if you're a first time user or you want to put a robot and have it work next to somebody you should go buy a cobot you know yep. you should buy something that's easy to deploy easy for you to get started with and learn with and then as you get up into the higher payloads the higher speeds the longer reaches then you'll start to kind of look at okay i should probably go get an industrial robot for this application right all right okay dusty if somebody is is interested in doing business or they, they're interested in getting a robot onto their premises into their applications and they're not sure Cobot, industrial robot. How how should they get started by you know reaching out to us? How, what's the right way to do that? Well, I mean, the first thing you'd want to do is talk to your Air Power account manager. Um, if you don't have one of those, call the eight hundred number. We'll get you somebody out to your facility. You know, to be the face of us to you. The second thing they're going to do is get in touch with us. We're going to talk to you. We're going to do a site visit. We're going to see if what you're saying is what you what you need. Um, as Mark said. If this is something where you want to drop something in a hundred different places in your facility, you kind of need to move it around because it's not going to do the same thing for long periods of time. Um, yeah, we may push you towards the collaborative side, right? Um, but if you're going to be doing something over and over and heavy speed, heavy payload, um, constantly, you know, it's going to be a worker. You know, we might try to, you know, drive you to the industrial side, especially with the advancements that FANUC has made with their dual check safety systems to where now you can have a large, large robot and you don't have to have a massive landscape to set it in. Okay. You know, we can, we can really narrow this spectrum down. You don't have to have tons of fencing, taking up lots of landscape of your facility. We can do a big robot in a small area and still be able to handle those things. So fantastic. If you're interested in a robot and you want to look at it for your application, 1-800-334-1001.